What up, Inkopolis? This is Luigi Fanquato One here once again, presenting a brand new plush collection, this time of Splatoon. One of Nintendo's more popular franchises in recent memory. I've got quite a few plush here from this franchise, so let's see what we got, shall we? Now aside from the customs, all the plush here are made by Sané, starting off with the orange Inkling Girl. The blue Inkling Boy. Pink Inkling Girl, meant to represent Splatoon 2 and the Green Inkling Boy, also representing Splatoon 2. Here's Judd. And Lil Judd. This is Lil Judd in Splatoon 2 before he grew up and got all fuzzy in Splatoon 3. Here's oh, Callie, wait, wait, everyone's wait, favorite wait, crazy wait, idol. Why are you spinning me around? Wait, is this a fashion show? Where am I? And here's Marie, the spice to Callie's sugar, and of course the character with the most representation in all three games. Here is Pearl. Remember when they had the debate between Pearl and Marina and it lasted for like, what, two weeks? It's because both Pearl and Marina are fantastic. And here are the brand new plush of Deep Cut, starting off with Shiver. Now we have Fry. And here's Big Man, who is literally just a pillow. I mean, he's so flat, he's got... A lot of beans in him, but the way how he's designed, he's just a pillow. It's like he's so flat. He's just a little mini pillow. It's like, okay. The rest of the plush are all custom, starting off with this orange Inkling girl, known as on my channel. Here is a blue Inkling girl. We refer to her as Jinx on the channel. Here is a smaller Shiver. A smaller Fry. And a smaller big man, which, in my opinion, actually looks better than the official one. Sure, the color's a little different, but I do appreciate how this big man actually looks like a plush and is smaller in length. Doesn't look like just a pillow that can be flipped like a flapjack. This one actually feels like a plush. Here is an Octoling. Familiar viewers may recognize her as Jazz, although she's also known as the former Agent 8. Here is Octocali. As you can see, she's much different in appearance than the regular Callie. Much taller, and she's got the hypno shades, she's got the outfit, she's got bendable arms, and bendable legs, and tiny beady little eyes. Is that supposed to be me? I look hot! Whoops. Moving Whoa. on! Here we have Commander Tartar, the villain of the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. I just really like the character, I figured he'd be a cool plush. And for some reason, the base of the phone is bendable. So if he's like looking down like, I am 30 or 40 years old and do not need this, then he can say that. And finally, the one you've all been waiting for, DJ Octavio. Surprising to me, they have not made an official DJ Octavio plush yet, especially because he's a good guy in the third game, but regardless, the custom still exists and he looks fantastic. So this is my current Splatoon plush collection. And as for the questions, uh, where do you get them? The answer is eBay, there's also Mercari. I'm even gonna say Amazon for a few of them, but watch out for the bootlegs. Can I have them? The short answer is no. The long answer is, aside from the customs, all the plush are readily available. Like, you can find them just about anywhere. They're really easy to access. I know Pearl and Marina were kinda tricky for a while, but they got restocked, so really, I think everyone should be available, aside from customs like Tartar or Woomy or Octavio. And do I have a favorite idol? Mm, no. All idols are beautiful in their own way, except for Big Man, he's just kind of perfect. Can I also say Octavio is my favorite? I don't think he counts, but I still think he's my favorite. Well, it seems I've run out of stuff to say, so until next time, this is Luigi Fanquata One saying see you guys later and have yourselves a fantastic day. What is that? <laughs> well, as you can see, this ain't no imposter. This is my new crewmate from Toikido. And the only thing he likes to do is do his tasks. <laughs>